the tutorial school has fencing equipment. So, oh, yeah, that's cool. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was I was actually saw a thing on uh, Facebook at Summerhill. They had somebody making swords. They were making uh, a wooden wooden katana and 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 various you know Japanese samurai type swords. So I was like, hey, swords at school. <laughs> That's fun. I, I'm curious, do you know, is there something like a certification process that you have to go through before you can use the fencing equipment? Yes. So so Mo at, at, at the tutorial school was saying that, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's like a corporation kind of set up. They don't call it corporation, but, but yeah, there's a, there's a group. They, they handle things. I actually asked about that. They, they have less formality, so it may not be you know, like a formal system of certification, but there's, you know, there, there's a, there's a, a way that you get access to those things. It's not just a free for all. Um, that makes so, sense. Yeah. 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 That was, it, that's another interesting thing is the variations in level of formality is, you know, all over the board. Uh, and so it just depends on, you know, I think a lot of it is size of community. Uh, tutorial school is actually pretty small, so it's it's not uh, it doesn't require much formality, and it, it just also might depend on history and and how how things came about. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, probably personality of the founders, right? Sort of m stage of maturation in the organization. Yeah. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.